Suspense is killing me. The architect sends many, but does not come himself. He is a coward. I will kill you. And he will know that he has failed to destroy the love. He will know that the mother will tear him apart. Who comes now? I can feel you, but you are no darkspawn. What trickery is he planning? You will die, as all who serve the Architect will die. The Mother demands it!
put an end to them and whatever these Darkspawn were planning. If the Legion were alive, I know. I know they would honor you in some way. I used to wish I could get away from the others. Now I'm all alone and I just want them back. Silly, isn't it? What's curious is that we seem to be caught between two factions of Darkspawn. I've never heard of such a thing. The Darkspawn are by nature vicious, and they have always fought amongst each other. But for there to be two organized factions, this is something else. Good. It's not just me, then. Something has changed in the Darkspawn, and I don't think I like it. Well, it's something to ponder. Especially when you need to be reminded that impending doom is always right around the corner. Well, I should get going. There may be others of the Legion out there, somewhere. I could find them. One good thing about the Deep Roads is that you never run out of Darkspawn to fight. Go? With you? But that would go against my vow, and my plan to disappear into the Deep, unmourned and forgotten. Be a Grey Warden? Is that allowed? Can you be both part of the Legion and a Grey Warden? And I'd be more effective at killing the Darkspawn, won't I? Ha! How does one say no to this? I will follow you. You seem an alright sort, and I'll be better off with you at my back than alone. Let's go then, the Darkspawn await.
the Herald. Lost. The lost is lost. 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 Mother, be calm. Calm. Yes. Once I was calm. Once mother listened to the beautiful call, felt it wash over her and inside her, and she was calm. But now there is no calm. The father took that away, and now he takes away Cal Hero. My poor pets in Cal Hero. The father knew I would send them against him. The father feared! Cal <laughs> Herol is gone, but the mother still has her tricks. Many, many tricks. But what will the mother do? Do? I will laugh! <laughs> I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone. The nearest quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. But I don't suppose, you know, in your travels... I'll be here. Don't tarry too long. Got a wall to rebuild. Psst. Psst. Warden. Haran is content to let me craft away in obscurity under dreadful conditions. Never a care for the art. The art of crafting. But you... You're not so dreadfully common. Exactly. I want to make wondrous things. Things a dwarf and craftsman would appreciate. If you come across any fantastical materials, could you perhaps visit old Wade? Wade? What are you about? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Remember, fantastical materials. Yes, Commander? Oh, I simply must do something with this. So unique, so rare. Yes, a breastplate. Here, take this. These are a few knickknacks I need to begin my work. Find them soon. I simply cannot wait. You're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. This is iron. Very high quality. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> oh, kind of you to notice. I, that was my work. The name is Dworkin Glavenok. Some call me Dworkin the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. <laughs> Have to be a little mad in my line of research. <laughs> I developed these particular formulations. But it's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So... I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. Wonderful. 
we can start making more explosives. Warden, before you let my brother blow himself to little bitsies, tell him to be careful. Don't listen to Voldrick. I know what I'm about. And how many apprentices have you lost? Three? No, four? We'll know the risks. If we succeed, our names will go down in history. Fine. We'll be safe. Happy now, Voldrick? Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? Aye, Commander. Aldrich, come over here. Well, I'll be. We need to send this home, brother. Orzammar must know how the Castless of Kalharol acquitted themselves in their final hours. Castless bearing arms. Oh, that'll go over well. Those Castless are heroes. It must be recorded by the Shaperet. Thank you, Commander. We'll see this is delivered into the right hands. Seneschal Verrill has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. Just give me a moment. Where is he? I know he's here. Cough him up, Warden. You're not gonna pull the moss over my eyes. Ogren, get your hairy ass down here! Hang on to your beard, woman. Is this a conjugal visit? <laughs> Looking for Ogren to grease the old wheel? Don't lay a finger on me. You've done a lot of stupid things on a whim, but joining the Wardens... Ah, <laughs> didn't you say it would be... hot? We were role-playing. See, you're making my boss uncomfortable. You'd think your friends would have developed an immunity to embarrassment by now. Look, I didn't sign up on a whim, all right? You kicked me out. You were just looking for an excuse. You kept trying to make me into something I'm not. I can't play house like you want me to. I'm only good at one thing, Fells, and it's killing. He's always been good at killing. That and making absolutely nug brain decisions. You had a good thing in the army. They respected you. Ah, <sighs> Felsy. I finally got the old conqueror on straight. And I don't belong anywhere but here. Fine, Ogren, if that's what you want. The baby and I will just have to get by without you. I just end up being hit. She's a tiny thing, but packs a surprising wallop. And in this mood, she'd go straight for my danglers. Come on, there's Darkspawn waiting to be killed. <laughs> You know, I'm actually not the first How to be a Grey Warden. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, more like. His name was Padrick How. He joined the Order before it returned to Ferelden just after the war. Never contacted his family again. Just vanished. Now that I know about the joining, I think he died. I know that now. Father always said he was a horrible man for abandoning the family to join a pointless cause. I grew up ashamed of my grandfather. But now I see his bravery. That will take some getting used to. My father often forgot that nobility has another meaning. I told you that the bow you gave me was my grandfather's, didn't I? Thank you for that. At any rate, we should probably get back to it. There are Darkspawn to kill, I'll bet. Somewhere. Mm. 
May I point out that you are all right? And the picture of virile heroism and a scholar. Really, when the Templars came for me, you could have decided I wasn't worth the trouble. But I apparently am worth the trouble. Considering I'm usually a lot of trouble, I should be grateful. When you recruited me, I thought I was jumping from the frying pan into the fire. But being a warden is almost tolerable. It's a pleasant stroll through the park, with Darkspawn. You're a giver. I'm very grateful. I thought it was worth mentioning. Thank you, Commander, for everything. As you say. Wow. I've never seen so many books in my life. This one's a Navarran romance. Pretty spicy, too, from the looks of it. What's an Antivan milk sandwich? Oh. Oh, I see. I'll just... put that back. I've only read one book. My friend Varlin taught me while we were in the Legion. He only had the one. He's dead now. He was a noble, once. From House Volney. I don't know why he ended up in the Legion. He wouldn't say. I saw death take my friends, knowing it would take him as well. I fought hard to keep us both alive. Varlin embraced the Legion's philosophy, that we were already dead. I couldn't let go like that. That's a nice way to think about it. Blow off the dust to find the vein of silver, huh? Oh, if I'm gonna get through all these books before the Darkspawn find me, I need to get started. For me? Oh, wow! For me? Oh, wow! Oh, how nice! Oh, how nice! This is nice. Worst idea in the history of...